everyone, today I'm going to talk about periodic table of elements. What is periodic table of elements? Periodic table of elements is a list of all chemical elements in the universe. Okay? And it's categorized according to their properties on the atoms. Well, atoms is made of three parts, the subatomic particles that proton, neutron, and electron. And the configuration of this part is the only thing that makes the atom different from another. How to read the periodic table of elements? Well, you can see this. The eighth is the atomic number of oxygen. Well, that means it's just like the number of oxygen. And it's a chemical symbol O. And the element name is oxygen. And the atomic mass is just the atom's mass. Is, is 15.999, okay? Uh, and, okay. And uh, what is mass number? Mass number is different from atomic mass. Mass number is you add a proton and neutron together, so it always will be whole number. And the, mass, the atomic mass is always very close to the mass number, okay? What are period? <coughs> period are a role on the periodic table, okay? And the period describes uh, how many the people in the same uh, atom in the same period have the same number of electron share. Like you in the first period, you can find hydrogen and helium. That's the uh, one electron and two electron. So that means the first electron share can only hold two. And in period two, you can find eight elements because it can hold up to eight electrons. When you read a cross from left to right, okay, and you can find the first element have one electron, and the second have two, and then just so on, okay. And and when you see, and people. See right the uh, right you can see there are noble gas which means they have full electron share. You can see what does this mean? The uh, six periods and seven periods. Because then the six and seven periods have so many elements, so scientists put some of them underneath. What are groups? Group or columns? Okay, like that. Um, uh, because uh, we know that the uh, element in the outer shell is very important, they tell it plays an important role because it, they, they, they can tell that which element and which element can combine to get it to form a chemical. Uh, group 1 always likes to be with group 17 because group 1 has one electron in the outermost shell, group 17 has 17 electrons in the outermost shell. Oh, and uh, just have the same number of electrons on the outer shell. Okay. Not groups. Groups are numbers from one to eighteen because there are eighteen groups you can find. You can count them. I'm not going to count. Okay. And group one has one electron in the outermost shell. And okay. And they also like to bound with group 17, I talked about before, like the uh, salt. Alkaline metal. Alkaline metal, and like this, alkaline metal is in the first group, you can see those, but hydrogen is not the metal, okay? They form alkaline solution when they meet with water, okay? Alkaline earth metal is still will make alkaline solution, but not as strong as the alkaline metal. Transition metal. Transition metal like the iron, gold, are shiny. Okay. Pearl <coughs> metal like lead is not shiny. It's in a pencil. Semi metal that are not really metal. They, but they, will, they can conduct electricity in certain solution. No, no metal, no metal or not metal like carbon. Noble gas I talked about before, like the neon, helium, like that. That is have full electricity.
Icon shell in an optimal shell or full valent shell. And we can see in 118 elements on the periodic table of L. But any other atomic number above 92, the uranium is you can't find in nature, you can only find in lab. 